let's start off by doing some counting. Let's count from 14 to 25. Ready? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's count backwards from 18. Ready? 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, I've got some numbers here. Let's see if you can remember what they are. 3, 13, 15, 4, 7, 5, 3, and 13 again. Right, today we're going to do some counting on. So let's start with the number seven. And we are going to add five. So we have seven cakes and five cakes. So I'm going to put my five cakes here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I don't need to draw dots under my seven or put cakes under my seven because I can lock that number in my head. So lock seven in your head. Now I'm going to start with seven and I'm going to add my five. Ready? You do it with me. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I know that seven add five equals a one and a two. Twelve. But we might not always have cakes to help us count. So this time I'm going to do it using dots. I'm going to do ten. Add six equals, where do I draw my dots? Under my ten or under my six? Where do you think? If you said six, you are right. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's lock ten in our head. Ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16. We know that 10 add 6 equals 1 and a 6, 16. Now I'm going to write a number sentence for you to do at home. At home, can you do 9 add 7 equals so remember, don't draw dots under your nine, draw seven dots under your seven, lock nine in your head, and count on using your dots. Then you'll know what the number sentence equals. <laughs> 